The Lalande Prairie Garden was created in 2015 when the farmer who had been cutting the meadow decided he no longer wanted the hay. Over the preceding winter, 13 massifs were dug out over an area of around an acre. In the spring, we planted several thousand herbaceous plants and grasses, some of which have thrived in the summer heat, some have succumbed. Usually, we have enjoyed the garden's snapshots as we travelled back and forwards between Scotland and France. This year, we were locked down in France from mid-March to July and were able to watch the prairie develop from spring into summer. Almost all of the prairie plants, with the exception of a few of the grasses, are cut back to the ground each winter. Now, in late April, the growth is beginning again, but it's still possible to see the layout of the flower beds before the plants get too tall. Early May now, still not much colour apart from the lapita, which have begun to flower, but there's a lot of pleasure to be had from the many different shades of green. Only 10 days since the last video clip and there's been a huge amount of growth as everything rushes into flower before the summer heat. Among the grasses, poa, stipigigantia. But the highlight of the prairie at this time of year is always the flomus. We have both yellow and purple varieties and their flower spikes stand high above everything else. Now and for the next few weeks. And there are other plants beginning to flower as well. Notably, golden yellow Coreopsis and deep purple Salvia nemorosa, which provide a beautiful contrast. Also, spikes of bronze fennel are providing a shade of a different colour in some of the flower beds. Nearly the end of May now, 10 days again since the last video clip, the colour palette is still much the same. Yellow, now joined by Achillea, and still the purple of the Salvian Amorosa. And there are more grasses in flower, notably the Penicetums, little red buttons on the red buttons, and the white, again appropriately named, fairy tails, waving in the springtime breeze. Early June now, the Achillea have definitely come into their own. The colour palette has been joined by other shades, notably Echinacea pallida. 
tell my little Johnny Castro. And the deeper blue of Russian sage. White Repeater now and Rickness Coronaria Alba with its silver foliage. And the first of the Hemerocalus, this one is just a very pale shade of yellow. And outstanding among the grasses, another Penicetum. This one's called Wisney Pink. Middle of June now, and the Hemerocalus are really coming into their own. Along with the pale yellow, there's the deep yellow and rather shorter Corky here. The Patinianismus. Deep Pink Echinacea. Arda there. Very end of June now, come a long way since two months ago at the end of April. Kelly is still doing well, as is the Russian sage. And the Echinacea pallida is still in flower. I'm impressed by how long they've stood. And that little white salvia. Evermore Hemerocalus. Glasses are getting tall, as you can see. And many more echinacea now as well. Green Twister, Vintage Wine, and the Verdine Bino Benariensis doing its best to take over the garden as usual.
middle of July it's getting quite hot and dry and things are beginning to fade. This is our last video before we left. Still plenty of flower on the echinacea and the gora's out now, another plant that does its best to take over. Again, still plentiful colour in the echinacea. White swan now doing really well here alongside the darker shades. Still plenty of flower on that Panacetum fairy tales too. 